hai GC News lima kubidia aku apa Ahadia di JSN Hot News dan kuwa era mili air promo Dan uji saya punya subscribe untuk the channel na Bomodi hasil Obe subscribe untuk the channel Obe ya misa Obe klik Ayah the subscribe button Na wabeli notification Wee rasa ni video Ya ada upload no Wee first person na wasa beka Ayah sa video Afi wu ya na wa like video no Give us a thumbs up Thumbs up na fi Share mark of a fossil Na wunye bihwe Na wuhu and semua a fossil Ewo gana ni mwaro Afi yimbo ra ye e sema a beto ye ponso A ye ki e se kwe ku si ti ni sa wadi e sema tukia A ye aku fwa do ba o miya distrisi ni wa analyze ni nila di sempi priya tukia Wo chile a ye the president na nado dan kwe ku fwa do ko kan se E gana di yon e Che se e nya di e nya a ye foreign e se ni se wana de bo a ye nya di e hon E ti ni e bu ye ma ni sema ke kan ye ne ne de ne ye hon A ye ba o miya so ni sema wadi e tukia e ni ni se ekonomi E na nado ba yon ka chile so wo ba o miya na ebe ma ekonomi na ba bi bi e jinas Ama Biar ya kama, ini dia ni yang musi, ini si dia no, ini dia guru no, amu seventeen series two dollar and seventy billion. Saya so nak yakin aku fikir tadi semua aku kaya se, we are not going to the IMF today tomorrow. Ibu yang na ibu na IMF. Kita semua bubu and seventy billion so aku pergi dia mana ya aku fikir tu, bau ni ya, wadi and seventy dollar na 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 tu ya. Enten cemara yang mau pilih no, yang kau nak kacik. Enti yang semua wadi tu aje, aku watch rese aku fikir tu has drop the ball, jadi we feel it but all. Wadi and seventy dollar na na tu ya. Few weeks away from the election, oh, na sani yani ya brewo kana ano, enye easy. So allow me a few minutes today to to spill my guts on some of the things today. The first thing is to talk about the rule of Nanaru, or should I say the MPP in the last eight years? It has been an MPP rule, and if you ask me right now, there's an old movie. There's an old you movie called on, YouTube, on the Waterfront. I don't think any of you know it. Maybe time near can know. You found on the Waterfront, and it was played by one of the greatest actors of all time, Marlon Brando. Some of the kind of the older ones, me and Apple will remember Marlon Brando. There was a line that Marlon Brando said in the movie that I want to start with. He was a boxer, you know, and at one point he was telling his coach, he said, I could have been a champion. I could have been a contender. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. Instead of a bum. Which is what I am. Do you know why I'm saying this? Because Nanado, His Excellency the President. Nana, you could have been a champion. Nana, you could have been a contender. But the sad thing is that you dropped the ball. You know, for those of you who do not understand the expression, drop the ball. Check it out. Go on Google, whatever, AI, and we say, so what is drop the ball? Drop the ball is something that is more intense than failure. Drop the ball goes beyond failure. Sally, Nanado, you could have been a champion. You could have been a contender, but you dropped the ball. Why do I say you could have been a champion, Nana? You, you started great. The vision was awesome. I remember in one of your campaigns earlier on, you talked about B.I.G. It's an acronym, acronym B.I.G. And do you remember, Nana, what B.I.G. stands for Ghana for Mukai? B.I.G. stood for Believe in Ghana. My God. What, what, what a rallying call for patriotism. For anybody who was competing to be president saying, I believe in Ghana. Because that's the biggest problem we have in this country is that nobody believes in Ghana anymore. Yeah, say to the extent that we don't believe in it because we have messed it up. So when Anna says believe in Ghana, I thought it was a really, really, really appropriate slogan. Nana, you could have been a champion or you could have been a contender. Not just I believe in Ghana. Let me fast forward small to when you got to the point where you talked about Ghana beyond aid. Masa, that was, that was one of the loveliest thinking for anybody who wants to lead Ghana to say, I am going to establish a Ghana without aid. Because the perennial problem of Ghana has been, Sir President Bia goes to the begging bowl, begging for money, aid, aid, aid. We've been to the World Bank, no, IMF, I'm sorry, 17 times. Dang. And we are going to go more. 
can be a, a next begging for money. So when you came and you said, we want to build a Ghana that can thrive on Ghana without aid. I said, ah, this man is a contender. This man can be a champion. You didn't end there. You said something to that was so significant. Me, I'll never forget. You said what we have in Ghana now is the gorgeous big economy. And that is what you want to unravel. Dismantle the gorgeous big economy. For me, as a, as a nationalist and as a patriot, those were words to my ears, actually. We have to dismantle the gorgeous big economy. Folks, what is the gorgeous big economy? It simply meant that our economy was Jason still a legacy of the colonial time. heritage. And once that we are now independent, it is not working well. We haven't done the transformation to an independent, working, productive economy. And I'll describe when I say we are operating a gorgeous big economy. I salute you for that. So, folks, what I'm saying is that Nana, you had, you had it all. You had the ball. You dropped the ball, but you had it. You could have been a champion, Nana. You could have been the contender in the African space. Ghana beyond aid, fighting the gorgeous big economy. And so for us, nationalists, that was an awakening for us, actually. This man, dear, his vision is to believe in Ghana. His vision is to overturn the legacy of the colonial heritage that we had. And so we were so, 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 so happy. So, 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 extremely happy. And so, folks, when Nana met Macron, I think he's the president of France. Most of you do not remember that meeting. But Nana, at that meeting, you spoke like a champion of Africa. You spoke like a contender. You spoke words of wisdom that every African leader or any leader of an African country who has taken over the things they need to do and say, who can you know? You could have been a champion. But here's the thing, Nana. You had the ball. You seem to have had the vision, but you dropped the ball. And as I say, drop the ball is just an expression, which means you failed. But it goes deeper than just failure. That's why I'm asking all of you, go to your Google, go to your AI, and just type in, explain, drop the ball. You dropped the ball, Nana. Look, listen to yourself at that speech. I want you to listen to yourself at that speech where you were telling the president of France that we appreciate them, we appreciate that they want to help, but it is not their responsibility to help. And basically what you told Macron was that the responsibility to build Africa and your French problem, and your taxpayers of French problem, it is a problem for we Ghanaians. We have the responsibility to build Ghana. And he told that to Macron. Honestly, when you were talking, I was saying, I don't know, catch away, actually, Macron. <laughs> France in Wabas now, and Wapi Ketiziko, and then you are beefing all your thing on him. You should be telling the Ghanaian people that I believe we should believe in Ghana. We should strive for Ghana without aid. Not the French president to betray him. Look at that small boy. And, and I'll show you some clips of that. But you, I want you to listen to some of the key things he said and then I'll react to that. There was one point he was saying that we need to do everything ourselves. Listen to this. We can no longer continue to make policy for ourselves, in our country, in our region, in our continent, on the well, basis of whatever support YouTube. the Hot Western world or France or the European Union can give us. It will not work. It has not worked and it will not work. Our responsibility is to charter a path which is about how we can develop our nations ourselves. It is not right for a country like Ghana, 60 years after independence, to still have its health and education budgets being financed on the basis of the generosity and charity of European taxpayers. By now, we should be able to finance our basic needs ourselves. Our main responsibility as leaders, as citizens, is what we need to do to grow our own countries. 
What are the institutions that work that will allow us to have good governance, to have accountable governance, to make sure that the monies that are placed at the disposal of leaders are used for the interests of the state and not for those of the leaders, to have systems that allow for accountability, that allow for diversity, that allow for people to be able to express themselves and contribute to fashioning the public will and the public interest. Our concern should be with what do we need to do in this 21st century to move Africa away from being cap in hand and begging for aid, for charity, for handouts. The African continent, when you look at its resources, should be giving monies to other places. We have huge wealth on this continent. In our own country of Ghana, and we need to have a mindset that says we can do it. Did you hear that, folks? True words were not, never spoken. The need for Africa to wake up and rebuild and depend on ourselves. Now catch up, Macron. For whatever reason, you told Macron, that's okay. But the things you said, do you remember, Nana, the things you said about the Ghanaian youth? Who are, who are traversing the horrors of the desert and going to other lands and how we should put an end to that. I want you to listen to what you said. These um, uh, young men who are showing so much resilience and, 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 and in the ingenuity in crossing the Sahara, finding ways to go across with rickety boats across the Mediterranean to really those energies we want to have those energies working inside our countries and we're going to have those energies working in our countries if we begin to build systems that tell the young people of our country that their hopes their opportunity are right here with us you are watching migration and the YouTube. movement of people news all time. is being presented in a manner which suggests that somehow it's a new phenomenon. There's nothing new about it. It's as old as man, the movement of people. And it has always been linked to the same thing. The failure of where you are to provide you with an opportunity, so you move somewhere else. Italian young people are in Italy. Irish young people are in Ireland. We want young Africans to stay in Africa to forego this hazardous effort to get to Europe. They're not going there because they want to. They're going there because they don't believe they have any opportunities in our countries. So that should be our focus. You heard him, folks. Said the youth of Ghana who are traversing the desert to go to other lands. And another thing that I find interesting that you, you talked about the energy that they have to Jakba. The ingenuity they are using to jack back. Why we can't keep all of them in Ghana? You said that's the Ghana you want to see where we take care of our youth so that there's no need for them to jack back like that. And you know jack back, leaving the shores of Ghana. That was your vision. And folks, let me say today, and you the youth are there, me boy, come and tell me, there's more jack back in Ghana than any time in my 68 years of life. Obeyeko. First, it used to be like those who were not very, very well connected. Numbers so so say everybody wants to go. Doctors are leaving, nurses are leaving, lawyers are leaving, educated people, everybody a jackpot. Some are going through the right ways, they go to the visa, some too are going through the desert. All because, all because they have lost hope in Ghana. And now you could have been the contender. If you had really worked on this vision of believing in Ghana and inculcated that in the youth of Ghana for all of Ghanaians to believe in Ghana, Kayen Jakbasar. But you're telling the French president, Macron, what on that thing? I remember when you did that, I think I put a tweet out that it was a very, very, very solid thing you said, but my thing was that this was a mission. I said you were talking to Ghanaians and not to that Frenchman on your phone. And the thing about this interaction with uh, Macron, all my friends, my African-American friends from abroad, Charlie, Charlie, KSM, your president was great. We loved what he said, man. 
Yes, I'm just a great man. Nana, you dropped the ball. You had it. You could have been a contender. What happened? What happened? You dropped the ball. Ghana beyond it. The, 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 the gorgeous work economy. The, 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 I believe in Ghana. The, 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 the. What happened? That when you came, even when you came and things were tough and rough, and everybody was saying, go to the IMF. You, 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 I remember then, Ken was the finance minister. I said, Ghana, we have pride. But I can tell you, as um, uh, my colleague, um, Deputy Minister said, we are not going to the IMF. Whatever we do, we are not. The consequences are there. We are a proud nation. We have the resources. We have the capacity, a proud, strong people, the shining star of Africa. We had pride. What happened, Nana? How did we drop the ball that we have to go back to the IMF? Not only that, Nana. After schooling Macron about how all of Africa should stop our needless dependency on them. After that, too, listen, listen to what he said. We can no longer continue to make policy for ourselves, in our country, in our region, in our continent, on the basis of whatever support the Western world or France or the European Union can give us. It will not work. It has not worked and it will not work. Our responsibility is to charter a path which is about how we can develop our nations ourselves. It is not right for a country like Ghana, 60 years after independence, to still have its health and education budgets being financed on the basis of the generosity and charity of European taxpayers. By now, we should be able to finance our basic needs ourselves. Our main responsibility as leaders, as citizens, is what we need to do to grow our own countries. What are the institutions that work that will allow us to have good governance, to have accountable governance, to make sure that the monies that are placed at the disposal of leaders are used for the interests of the state and not for those of the leaders, to have systems that allow for accountability that allow for diversity, that allow for people to be able to express themselves and contribute to fashioning the public will and the public interest. Our concern should be with what do we need to do in this 21st century to move Africa away from being cap in hand and begging for aid, for charity, for handouts. The African continent when you look at its resources, should be giving monies to other places. We have huge wealth on this continent, in our own country of Ghana. And we need to have a mindset that says, we can do it. Beautiful, eh? I feel like applauding for that, that revolutionary fire. We don't need you to become a babysitter so we can do it on our own. And now we yeah, I jumped on the plane, <laughs> went back to the same person for aid. Jesus Christ, you dropped the ball. And now you guys, you are lucky, Macron. Uh, it's, uh, well, I don't think he even took Nana serious when Nana was talking. Uh, let me just give you a clip of just watch him talking and watch his reaction. Watch his reaction. Mm -hmm. He's looking away here. There. Do you know why? As you, yeah, tia, 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 tia. <laughs> Africa for yeah, tia, 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 tia. Uka we in every chia. Uba besemzika. That was his reaction. Did we prove him wrong? No. Soon after that, we were in France to beg for money. Nana, you dropped the ball. I am telling you today that you could have been a champion. You could have been a contender. Even from the point 
I, I started with B.I.G. Then I went to Beyond Date and everything. But let me take you even further back to the times of campaigning. When we were looking at the economy and how the Ghana CD to the dollar rate under Mahama. Let, let, me, let me keep quiet. Let me take you back to the days of how you address this issue. And the purpose of the video we're going to watch is that I want you to understand what inspired Nanadu to bring Bawumia. Oh, let me put it this way. What inspired His Excellency Nanadu to bring in His Excellency Bawumia as his running mate. He actually made a reference to Bawumia having worked as Deputy Governor in Lakufo. Let me keep quiet. This is what he said here. Then we'll be right back. One dollar, one CD. In the time of Mills and Mahama, two CDs, one dollar. In Kufo's time, one of the people who advised and helped him develop a strong CD was my running mate, Muhammadu Baumia. Then he was deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana. It's one of the reasons I brought him to come and join me, that we will work on the CD and create again a strong CD that will be able to allow us to develop our economy and allow our traders and our work to be able to... Yes, so Baumia came on so that we can change the dynamics so that we can change according to uh, Nanaru so that we can break from the gorgeous big economy so that we can move away from this dependency on this colonial heritage. Let's do our own thing. So that is why he brought the whiskey Baumia on. And when Baumia came on, he too said the same thing. You all heard him, I don't have to repeat anything. He said the, the, the economy, the fundamentals are so weak. And that is why the exchange rate is exposing all of us. You know, for me, Ebia Baumia, you are thinking differently. But for me, when we talk about a weak fundamentals of economy in Africa, the number one reason is that the economy is still a legacy of the colonial heritage. In the Kufado's words, the economy is still a gorgeous big economy. So when Baumia was talking about uh, we have to change the fundamentals and the weakness of the and the the yeah, basically he was saying, I've been brought in to do this. I have been brought in to do this, to change this weak economy. And as uh, uh, Narado was saying in the thing, uh, under, 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 under uh, uh, Kufo's $1, one CD, under uh, Mahama, $1, three CDs, or whatever it is. Folks, what do we have now? Baumia, Your Excellency Baumia, you put your president under the bus. What's your say? Say, in order to look good that you are the best man to inherit the situation in order to look good you had to demean your boss and that's exactly what you did though you put him under the bus saying oh media most of the things that happened i had nothing to do with it i was just a vice and a vice is the mate so you put nana under the bus and i'm for bekano just say, oh, 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 I am trying to find the word. Say, basically, you dissed him. Say, he was the one that didn't handle things well. And can you would have changed many things? That's what you told us. And right now, your campaign is that the things that MPP, of which you are the vice president and still the head of the college management team, the things that they did, that they put in motion, your campaign is that, Mrs. Sanina. Hey, Ghana, do <laughs> what to be that? The things that you put in motion as MPP, as a vice president, that is in motion now. Betting tax, e levy, why, why, name them, uh, 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 the tax importation tax, and why, when you know, MPP, a uh, put in motion your campaign message is that when you come. You're going to cut out all of that. And Ghanaians are also working, cheering you, yay, yay. Something I don't understand. Those who understand, God bless you and praise you. But you understand that. But folks, getting back to the point, Nanato dropped the ball. The vision, the expectation, 
was so, so, so high. It was unbelievable. And eight years later, what do we have to show for? All we have to show for is a new uh, uh, candidate for the same party saying that when I come, <laughs> I was crap most of the things that we implemented. I remember some interview that somebody said, uh, but why are you waiting till when you come? Scrap it now if you think they are no good, then let's hear of you. Uh, but if I scrap them now, what will I do when I come to power? I wanted to do these tax reforms, import duty, flat tax, tax amnesty, and so on. But why don't I do it now? And, and why do I want to? I must have a manifesto, otherwise if I do everything now, <laughs> if I could, <laughs> what would I do when I come into office? <laughs> I mean, how can you do everything now? Me pacho, me pacho, with all respect, idiom. All you followers and sticker fans, you understand why I'm saying this, but trust me, that statement was a sign of a political novice. Don't you say I go and check out the word political novice? How? Folks, everything has gone haywire. Everything has gone haywire. But when I spoke recently, and I want to show that to make my point here, because he spoke to suggest that oh, what are Ghanaians complaining about but uh, the, the, the city depreciation crime no, it was not as bad as the time and I and this it was no, you, you, you know that childish petty comparative politics that we do I call it comparisonitis we compare this to compare that needlessly let me just stop take a listen to what he said about the why the CD is in this state now. Listen to this. On the performance of the CD exchange rate, it is also interesting to note that between 2013 and 2016, just before we came into office, the CD depreciated by an average of 17.7% annual. But since 2016, between 2017 and 2020, there was a significant decline in city depreciation to an average of 7.5%. The average city depreciation further declined to 6.8% between 2017 and 2021. However, the 30% depreciation of the city in 2022 resulted in the average depreciation of the city <laughs> okay yeah 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 but yeah, if, if i should say it bluntly what you're saying crano you seem to be struggling with whatever you want to come up with and you did a speech to explain to explain the depreciation massa you're an economist and you agree with me that what matters most are the absolute values at the relative periods that's it so what all this uh, uh, trying to explain your excellency dr bohomia the dollar now is almost 17 cities that is not why the president nanago brought you on to take it from the four galaxies you're complaining to almost 17 and still you look at Ghanaians in the face and you have the guts to tell us that no, still, things are better. Still. I mean, how does that work? I want to take you to back, you know, to what his president said when he was justifying why he brought you on as the vice. That in that day, he was comparing. And he said that uh, one dollar was two cities. Listen to what he said. One dollar, one CD. In the time of Mills and Mahama, two CDs, one dollar. In Kufo's time, one of the people who advised and helped him develop a strong CD was my running mate, Mohamedou Baumia. Then he was deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana. It was one of the reasons I brought him to come and join me. I will work on the CD 
and create again a strong city that will be able to allow us to develop our economy and allow listen to what he said he would have done if he was supervising that reckless uh, depreciation and what cannot say one to two but listen to what he said he would have done won't you we if I was done I would say to the people of Ghana I'm sorry we are sorry for the poor work we have done oh my god <laughs> mr. president they would have said what if I was done I would say to the people of Ghana I'm sorry we are sorry for the poor work we have done we're going to go and think about ourselves but they didn't say I'm sorry but let me ask you Mr. President why do you think they didn't apologize for that tell us the fruits of office the money the money under the table has become sweet for them so they are determined to stay <laughs> oh I see so th there's money under their table and they're enjoying it is that what you're saying can you say that again the money the money under the table has become sweet for them so they are determined to stay so my, my, my question is this now look at the exchange rate one to almost 17 is there any reason that you haven't said you're sorry or uh, his vice hasn't said that you are, that he's sorry or as you say is it because there's some money under the table that you're enjoying i don't know you tell me me there i'm only asking you're giving the reasons why they didn't say i'm sorry and if it was you you would have apologized and i'm saying that the dollar is close to 17 but i haven't heard anybody look Ghanaians in the face and say actually i am sorry why is it because the answer you gave is there some money under the table i don't know Mm -hmm. so you have a few more months you know is this when we're going to get the apology you still have time and uh honorable dr Bum, his excellent dr Bumia, who's keen on breaking the eight is there an apology coming or we should wait for you to always explain how the depreciation makes you even a better economist over to you folks no way for me and some of your care serve kwaku city misa wa brobro and some be so a fire the president and another than kwaku fado de baumia and the kind of frata or dance and be brave a fire one home like i was a just new so and our and also we don't subscribe we are but more than i will subscribe to channel is answer hadia later and hot news and kwana mede a bremo i feel we are not like video like the video and also share my own for so now we may be here now we will and some more echoes so i will gana memo also be to me a chair what being a fire some we know I will comment boxing over to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Like and share the video. You can also drop your comment. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell to turn on the notification.